Hi everyone, welcome to my channel The Model Mitt. In this video, I'll show you how to make a study table with storage in just 10 minutes using SketchUp. Let's get started. Draw a rectangle of 2400 by 300. Use push-pull tool and extrude 18 millimeters. Make a component. Move it by 800 millimeters. And again, move it by 2400 millimeters. Move it down by 450 millimeters in slash 2 to get two copies spaced equally. And again, move it by 450 millimeters. And 350 millimeters. Now, rotate the top plank by 90 degrees. Delete the bottom plank. Move the left plank 18 millimeters to the right. Select the plank and make it unique. Then mirror it by drafting along the red axis right side to the center and press Ctrl to copy. Now select the bottom plank. Make it unique and extrude it 600 millimeters front and 18 millimeters down. And pull the same 18 millimeters right and left side. Now, let's use the solid tools to intersect the overlapping planks and clean up the joints. First, select the right plank. Then, click the fifth icon in the solid tools, which is the trim tool. Now, click on the second plank to trim the overlapping part and repeat the same. Now, we will copy the vertical planks. Select the left plank. Use the move tool and press control to activate copy mode. Move the copy to the opposite end. Then, type slash 3 and press enter to create two more copies with equal spacing. Select and plank and make it unique. Use the scale tool on the object. Press the up arrow key to lock scaling in the blue axis direction. Then click and drag to adjust the height. Press K to show or hide hidden lines and geometry. By using the scale tool, I'm also adjusting the other planks to match the height I need. Now, use the solid tools to remove the overlapped and unwanted planks. The basic frame is complete. Select the model and make it group. Draw a rectangle and extrude it 150 millimeters to create a wall. Then extend it 1,500 millimeters to the right and left and pull it 600 millimeters up. Now, draw a rectangle to create the floor and make a group. Next, we'll start making the drawers. Begin by drawing a rectangle of 600 millimeters by 600 millimeters, then extrude it 700 millimeters to create a box. Make it a component. Press K to show or hide hidden lines. Now, move this box to the edge corner. To mirror it, use the Move tool, hold Ctrl to copy, and mirror it along the red axis. Go inside the group, select the front face, Use the offset tool and offset 18 millimeters inward. Then use the push pull tool to push the face back by 582 millimeters. Next, let's create another component inside this one. Draw a smaller rectangle, make it a component, then move it to the top. Press Ctrl to copy and type slash three to create three evenly spaced copies. Now, go inside that component, extrude it 18 millimeters, use the offset tool to offset 12 millimeters inward, and extrude again by 175 millimeters to create the drawer sides. Use the line tool to split the surface, then pull the face forward. and draw a line and pull face upwards with a gap of 10 millimeters. 
select the face and offset 50 millimeters and move bottom line upwards 50 millimeters. Move right and left line 150 millimeters. Push the face inside. Draw arc both side and push the face inside. Select the drawer, right click and make it smooth. And our drawer is ready. Now make a rectangle in the bottom of the table and offset of 18 millimeters and make a group and pull 75 millimeters downwards. And boom, our study table with drawers is ready. Now, using the Fredo 6 round corner extension, we'll smooth the edges of all our planks. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe for more useful SketchUp tips and tutorials. Now, we'll make a simple chair. Draw a rectangle of 400 millimeters x 400 millimeters. Move 75 millimeters both the corner point. Select and move 450 millimeters upwards and select the face and pull 18 millimeters downwards. And make a group. Select the two corner edges and use the Fredo 6 round corner tool to round them with a radius of 110 millimeters. And repeat the same on other corner of radius of 75 millimeters. Select the top and bottom face and repeat the same with the radius of 2 millimeters. Copy the top face and move downwards. Draw a line for reference. Select and make a group. Now, copy the top face and move it upwards. Then, offset it by 75 millimeters. Draw a line and delete the unwanted lines. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe for more useful SketchUp tips and tutorials. Select the line and weld it using Weld Tool. Copy the line downwards. Draw a circle of 15 millimeters, then select the path line. Click on the Follow Me tool and click on the circle's face to extrude along the path. Select to circle face and make it smooth using Fredo 6 round corner extension. Now select and make a group. Draw a circle with a radius of six millimeters. Use the push pull tool to pull the face 300 millimeters upward. Then select the object and make it a component. with axis of bottom center of the circle. First, select the line that you want to use as the path. Then activate the Copy Along Path tool. Click on the object you want to copy with 75 mm spacing and it will be duplicated along the selected path. Comment below if you'd like the links to the SketchUp extensions used in this video. Now go inside the component and adjust according to your needs and design. Now delete unwanted lines and faces. Now we'll make a legs of the chairs. Draw a circle with an 8 mm radius. Then pull it up 450 mm using the push-pull tool and make a component. Go inside the component and select bottom face and scale 0.5 and select top face and scale 1.5. Select and move the component and adjust according to your design. Select 
and move towards right and go inside the component and adjust. Select the object, use the Move tool, drag along the red axis, hold Control to copy. Select the group and move upwards of 200 millimeters. And do offset of 15 millimeters and deleted unwanted face and lines. Select the line, then use the JHS power bar tool to create a pipe along the path. Select all and make a group. Our model is now complete. Let's add the necessary components from the 3D warehouse and material to finish it. That's it. We made a nice study table with storage in 10 minutes. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe to the Model Mint for more SketchUp tutorials. Thanks for watching.